Hi, we just moved, finished Yadalin, and I wanted to go over a very interesting Rashi that we didn't have time to go over when we were learning the Daf, and that has to do with the Xerat Tikra, that if we look, uh, I'm looking on Yadalin Amud Aleph, the beginning of the Gemara right after the Mishnah, where uh, Rav and Shmuel are explaining the Machloket, the dispute, dispute between Rebbe Meir and the Chachamim in the Mishnah, Rebbe Huda and, and Rebbe Meir, excuse me, in the Mishnah, and in the beginning of the page, the beginning of the, the sukya there, Rav says, Machloket bin Esarim sheyesh behen arba'a, that there's a dispute between Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Huda when the planks have four hand bricks. Do Rabbi Meir eat le gezerat tikra? Rabbi Meir has this decree that you shouldn't do something unless you sit in a, a real under a real ceiling. So Rashi explains that this implies that for Rabbi Meir, even when we say Rabbi Meir says you shouldn't do something, you really could mean hadin from the law, from the basic law, you would be allowed to use these broader four handbreak planks, but you shouldn't do that. And he explains over here, uh, if you imich sharet behu, if you allowed this kind of uh, schach with four handbreak. Uh, uh, four handbreadths uh, planks. Atin lememar, right, somebody might come to say, what's the difference between using this is schach and what's the difference of sitting underneath the planks that are really in my house? And he comes up with a new midrash that really doesn't ex- actually appear anywhere in the Gemara. That the Gemara says you're supposed to, that the Torah says you're supposed to sit in a sukkah and you're not supposed to sit in your bait, in your house. So even if you theoretically had a house that was kosher for a sukkah all year long, and it had four handbrake planks, and you didn't have some sort of uh, uh, plaster or mud ceiling covering them or some other material that you couldn't use for your sukkah, there's still a mitzvah to leave your house and to sit in a sukkah. So I thought that was interesting. The Gemara actually never says that. The Gemara just says you have to sit in a valid sukkah. It doesn't actually say that you're not allowed to sit in your house. Another reading of the Gemara might be that you're not allowed to sit under four handbreadth planks, lest you come to sit under a real ceiling that is for sure pasul, not valid for a sukkah, uh, because it has other materials besides natural materials there, so besides uh, material that grows from the ground. So Rashi's reading gives us a new midrash that there's actually a mitzvah to leave your house on Sukkot and go and sit in a sukkah.